Hello, welcome back to Health Tech. Today I'm going to help you learn about the settings option of your Wise application in your phone. There are so many things that you can do in settings. So let's go ahead and explore the settings option of Wise. First, you need to open the Wise application in your phone. And as you can see, I'm already logged in. If you do not know how to log in, please check my other video where you can find how to log in videos now you tap on account now first of all if you have not provided the details of your account you need to tap on account details and here you can enter all of these fields when you are done tap on save and now on top of your right corner you can see a three dot icon tap on that and tap on settings this is now the settings option in your phone now the first option is use touch id to log in if you use touch id you are going to avoid all the hassle of logging in and providing your password so this is very good option and a very good alternative if you tap on it you will see this page popping up first you will need to provide your password and then tap on approve and now use the touch ID or your thumb and now as you can see it is now activated so instead of providing your password you can also use your thumbprint the second one is auto lock security if you activate it you can see this information popping up so basically if wise notices that there is 10 minutes of inactivity then you will need to provide your touch id to unlock it this is a very good feature because if you accidentally keep your wise application on and you forget about it then after 10 minutes of inactivity it is going to lock it so that no one else can use it if you tap on confirm then your auto lock security is going to be turned on you can also change your email to do that tap on change email option which is the third option and here you enter a new email address when you are done tap on recent email and and then you will have to open your mailbox and do some formalities and now you can change your email address and the first one is two-step login, which is also two-step verification. For example, every time you log in, you will also need to provide a security code that is sent to your phone so that no one else can use your account except for you. As you can see, my status is on. And if you don't know how to do it, you will have to check another video where I have explained everything about two-step login. And there are some general settings like notification preferences. You can check each one and adjust the settings that best fits your scenario. You can also report a bug. You can read the agreements. You can also read privacy policy. And you can also enter personal details. And that is it about the settings icon of WISE application. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel.